Jesus says that my burden it's light because oxen two oxen when they carry a yoke they don't carry the yoke for a show this is not a romantic walk this is an assignment this is to carry a burden together and when you are in the covenant with God you are carrying a burden with God as Christians we believe we have one burden the burden is not to be sick the burden is not to suffer but the burden is to bring other people to Jesus Christ what does this mean practically what I think means practically is that I want us to know that this means to live our life with an intent to see other people come to Jesus Christ live your life with an intention to see other people saved this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go sell everything you have and move to India this doesn't necessarily mean unless the Lord tells you to sell everything you have and move to China this doesn't necessarily mean okay and so during summer I have to go to Mexico and I'm gonna do and be a missionary there well look it around you because your assignment is people around you live with an intention you can be in the same place that you are at right now with an intention and see people save yeah. and see people give their lives to Jesus last Sunday a lady came to our church who saw a newspaper article about house divided how me and my wife are divided because she's Russian and I'm Ukrainian <laughs> and she came to church an article we went on that article with intention we have sometimes people I meet in the airport in the mall in the store who watch our TV show and they said man it blessed me so much and it's good and as a pastor I preach the gospel and I invite people to receive Jesus last Saturday when I was there as Friday two people gave their lives to Jesus and I live with that as a pastor a TV show does the job a newspaper did the job and flyers do the job but I want you personally to live with an intent to bring people to Jesus because sometimes it's easy to get up here and be as a pastor or to say you know what I come to church I pay my tithe the pastor goes and preaches in other places he's on TV and he's bringing people to Jesus and I am just putting my lot by bringing my tithe and coming bringing myself here but I want you to do that with intention personally I want to do that personally myself my good mentor uh, Vladimir Montyan in Ukraine who I look up to and he has a big church he preaches to a lot of people many churches are started and he mentioned a testimony where a few months ago he drove his car at 1 in the morning and sees a hitchhiker walking by and the next distance was miles and miles away from the city 1 in the morning and you know it's not the wisest thing to pull over and pick a person who's walking 1 in the morning he pulls over picks him up he says hey who are you he says I just got released from like 20 something years prison sentence well this is a good moment to say bye bye brother <laughs> and Vladimir Montyan who preaches to people on the stage he could say I don't need to witness to people let my people do that he begins to lead him to Jesus and that guy doesn't recognize that he's actually been watching Vladimir Montyan in jail and he like shakes himself he says I'm sleeping I'm dreaming he said wake me up wake me up because it's not true that I'm actually in your car one in the morning when I'm just walking out from my prison sentence wow. nothing is impossible to God can somebody say amen <laughs> live with an intention to see people saved but I want you to notice what this means is also make room for interruptions in your schedule and in your budget the problem we have is that to live with an intention requires making room for interruptions interruptions is when Jesus is preaching a sermon they break through the roof and all the dust begins to fall and they bring a man in the middle of his second point and this man needs healing an interruption is Jesus is really rushing into this house where the daughter is sick and she's about to die and the woman pulls on his garment and stops him an interruption is when Jesus goes in and there is Zacchaeus and he stops and he looks at Zacchaeus interruption is when a hurting man laying and the priest man I'm so busy I'm running late I'm always late I'm not punctual next time I'll do better and I'll come and stop I don't have time for you one of the reasons why it's hard to live with an intention is because when you live with an intention you have to make room for interruptions you don't plan for these things you have your schedule planned you have your budget planned and then boom it happens I remember when I was going to lunch a long time ago in our church this particular event stands out in my mind and I already 
had a meeting with somebody I needed to meet with them and I was running late and as I drive up the parking lot we had a basketball hoop in our parking lot and I see a young boy playing basketball there and I already drove off of the parking lot and I hear this little whisper it's Wednesday night you gotta live with intention you gotta go tell him about Jesus and you gotta bring him to church <laughs> plus he's already on the church parking lot how hard does it get but I'm like I'm running late once I come back I'll tell him but another voice told me he won't be here I'm like well I'll find him where he lives but I'm, I just knew it I'm just playing games with God and I just gotta stop I pull over my car and then I was like Lord but I'm kind of shy I mean but just, just the guy playing that I don't want to interrupt him but I make an interruption in my schedule make an interruption in his playing basketball I invite him over he comes that night gives his life to Jesus and a few months later I got, got, got a chance to baptize him his name was Curtis Smith he moved eventually to um, Louisiana to help his dad with some business and some other things but I'm so glad at that day I took a minute of my schedule and allowed interruption come on, come on, because yeah. the third thing and that's most important is when you do that God will reward you with an impact see when we allow interruptions God will uh, reward us with an impact